So I just wanted to do another little short video. Um, if you hear some noises or some shouting, it's probably the baby. Uh, he's hanging out with me while I record this before I'm out of sunlight. Um, so I'm in Japan. I've been here for a little over a month or so. When I flew in, I was trying to get rid of as much weight as possible and uh, avoid any situations like frightening people in customs and getting us instantly deported. And as a result of that, I threw away a lot of like liquid products, uh, shampoo that we'd been traveling with, um, all of my toners and, and makeup stuff. Oh, so fair warning, this is makeup stuff. This is skincare stuff. If you are not a big fan of makeup and skincare stuff, and I don't know why you wouldn't be, but if you weren't, you probably want to skip this one um, and wait until you see a blonde guy talking, and that'll probably be about robots. So, so, all right, so I got here and I didn't really have any great skincare stuff. And the result of that was that like the first or second morning that I was here, uh, hi Dave. <laughs> so the result of me not bringing all of my skincare stuff was that I got here and <laughs> So the result of me not bringing all my skincare stuff through the airport is that when I got here, my face freaked. Uh, my skin erupted. I had this kind of peninsula of acne right across my chin cheek area. It was it was awful. Um, and so I didn't know what to do because I don't speak enough Japanese to get by. I can't read enough kanji to be able to just walk into a store and say, hey, what's up? So, um, I, I did a little bit of reading, and um, I read up on Japanese skincare and that sort of thing, and uh, I found out that most of what they do is very similar to at least what's presented in the U.S. as the standard in skincare. Um, it's usually a three or four or five step process, depending on how crazy you are about the whole thing. Um, it's mostly a matter of using different language, obviously, but different terminology in addition to different language. Um, and the focus um, in a lot of Japanese control um, is in moisturizing and in lightening. Um, I don't need to lighten my skin. Um, I don't have any particular compulsion to do so. Uh, so I have to avoid that stuff because I don't really, I'm not into whatever that bleaching quality would be. So, uh, luckily, I have Daiso near me. And if you are visiting Japan, if you are coming to Japan, or if you're in Southern California, you can find Daiso really easily. These are 100 yen stores, mostly. Like, they have some bigger items, but mostly it's 100 yen, which is, right now, uh, the equivalent of about a dollar. So this is a dollar store. Yay, Americans, we love our dollar stores. Uh, but Daiso has got some really great stuff, and the benefit of Daiso is that because they have stuff in the stores in Southern California and elsewhere, um, many of their products have English on them. So if you really need to stock a place, you know, your teaching apartment or whatever, or your hotel room, and you don't speak a lot of Japanese, you can't read, you can't read kanji, um, don't panic, find a Daiso. And um, Daiso itself is written in Romaji. It is written in American letters, or English letters, not American letters, English letters. So you'll even be able to find it through Googling or whatever your method for finding things is. So, skincare, right? First and foremost, the Japanese use, um, instead of a toner, they use something usually called a milk lotion or just a lotion, all right? Uh, sometimes they're actually called toner lotion, just to really confuse matters. Um, Daiso carries this. Ooh, can you read that? Ooh. Probably not. But right here in the little yellow box, it says milk toner lotion. Okay, sake milk toner lotion. Um, this is your first step. Uh, and a lot of Japanese products, just like American products, they have a little number one and two and three, um, letting you know this should be an early part of your... Yes, just a minute, dude. We'll get to that. Uh, this is supposed to be the first part of your of your skincare regime. Um, toner lotions are, like I said, they're just they're toners. This one smells a little bit like sake. It's fantastic because everybody wants to smell like alcohol first thing in the morning. Um, um, and toners, you know, they tighten your skin. They do all the things that toners do. 
Um, I like the milk lotion. It's very fluid. It's very liquidy. So you spread it around in your hands and you massage it into your skin and you prefer, you know, pretend that you really, really deserve it. Uh, <laughs> so after toners, um, there's, you can just do toner and then a moisturizer. Um, moisturizers are all over the place. This is again Daiso's moisturizer. This is her deep collagen moisturizer. Um, and it is exactly what it sounds like. They put the moisturizer on last because a lot of their moisturizers are a kind of gelatin jelly uh, like texture. And it sort of thought, there you go, see that? It sort of thought that this um, will help to sort of seal in whatever products you put on before it. So you've put the toner into your skin, you put the milk lotion into your skin, you've pressed it into your skin, you've massaged it, and then you put your moisturizer on afterwards to help sort of seal and push it deeper into your skin. And again, this is supposed to be massaged in, not just put on. Um, and keep that in mind, if you're in Japan or you're using Japanese skincare products, massage your face because it says so on the bottle and you deserve it, okay? So the other step that's a little bit different, although I'm, I'm seeing more and more of it in American products, mm. is, that's right, Dade, it's the serum step. Um, mm. The serum, or sometimes they call them essences. Um, mm. Can we show? Can we show? Mm. Can I have it? You want it? Here, you have the, you have the milk lotion? Okay, there you go. Um, so, mm. again, this is Daiso. Uh, this is Halotronic. Halo, Halo ah. This is hyaluronic acid. It's just a facial spray, just a little light mist. Um, hyaluronic is, according to my Google searches, um, stuff that's in your bones. Uh, it's thought to be a deep moisturizer, a deep conditioning moisturizer. They say it's supposed to be the fountain of youth and it makes your wrinkles disappear and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I've got no wrinkles, so I don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Um, I just picked it because of the two... Of the two facial yeah. mists that I could find at Daiso, the other one was whitening, and again, I don't need that. Um, so, so the three steps, like I was saying here, are lotion, some kind of um, um, single focus serum or uh, uh, essence, and then a moisturizer, a jelly moisturizer to seal the whole thing in. The serums change day to day. Uh, and need to need, so you're supposed to have a whole bunch of them lying around. So you can buy a serum that is acne preventative or, or acne treatment, and it's basically just salicylic acid in spray form, um, which sounds ow, but let's, I mean, it's probably watered down, but so, so you might do that on the days when you have a little breakout, or you do the whitening for whenever, or you do this stuff when you need that little extra kick of moisturizer and softening, and it gives you mochi mochi skin, which is what you want in Japanese, you know, in Japanese skincare. Um, I'll explain that later, right? <laughs> so uh, that's the basics of Japanese skincare. If you're here and you're afraid and you don't know what to do to take care of your beautiful face and your beautiful skin, Daiso will take care of you. Um, if I get an opportunity to find better translations for these terms, I will do so. But even without Daiso Handy, um, if you go into just about any any store, um, like I said, the, the lotion, the steps will have numbers on them on a lot of products so you can get a basic idea and then, you know, that, that row of shelf of material is probably all that thing. Uh, be forewarned, uh, Japanese packaging can be kind of gruesome. Uh, it can be very brutal. Uh, I was in uh, Don Quixote because I shop high class. Uh, I was in a Don Quixote and I was looking at their skincare stuff and I came across one of their, their spray spear serums, or maybe it was a cleanser, that was specifically designed for acne. Uh, and the packaging had a close-up shot of a woman's nose, I think it was a woman, it had a close-up shot of a nose that was like just blackhead city. It was like big, gross, blackhead close-up shot and boy boom right there in your face and I will bet you that that scrub or that cleanser is fantastic for that purpose um but it was just a little horrifying to see it up close and in your face while you were well I'm just there casually like oh look flowers roses this one smells like apples oh my god pimples I mean you know not to judge but it was gross. So be forewarned about that. But on the bright side, that also helps let you know what this does. Oh, this is a peeling cleanser. Oh, this is a cleanser that does blank. And that's a cleanser that does this and blah, blah, blah. 
So that'll basically get you started if you're here. Um, if you have more questions on, on like the actual steps of skincare and, and how that works here, I can do another about that more specifically. This is just a cut and dry survival of the fittest. You need to clean your face up and you got to do it now. Um, if you have any questions about it, like I said, go ahead and comment. Um, if you want me to do something that's a little bit more in depth, uh, you know, how the whole process works, I will do that the best that I can in my limited American experience or at least I can send you in the right direction to do the research yourself. Um, so thanks for your time.